Hi, welcome, and I hope you're doing well. In this video here, I'll be doing the solid state drive upgrade. So this is a new brand, Levine. It says since 1996. I haven't used this product before, but I'd like to give it a try. And what I'll be doing is I'll remove the original hard drive of this laptop. This one runs on a regular spinning HDD disk. Um, I'll be removing that original drive and then I'll be using a different computer to clone the hard drive over to the solid state drive. Now the reason why I try to clone it is I like to keep my windows, my programs, my data and my settings everything the same so I'll be doing the clone process. But if you want to install the new SSD drive with a brand new windows uh, you can do that as well. So for this purpose, um, I'll be doing the hard drive removal and the cloning process, you won't be able to see it in this video. I have a separate video for that because the cloning may take some time to clone and it is too long in the video. So I'll make a separate video just to show you how to clone the drive, the process from start to end. I'll link that video in the description below. So look out for the link in the description and it will direct you to my uh, different video uh, for that process. But in this video here, my purpose goal is to remove the hard drive and put in the new SSD in it. And the cloning process, I'll do it in the background, get it done, and then I'll be installing it back. So at least I'll show it to you on how to remove the original drive. And um, if I see something else like the battery or the RAM, and I'll explain it to you in this process as well. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So let me show you the model on this laptop here. This is the uh, H, uh, sorry, Dell P66F. Uh, this is 2017 model. Okay, let's go ahead and remove the screws. This one is the electric screwdriver. I have it, I bought this from Amazon. Uh, it's not a sponsor. I used my own money and paid for it. And I kind of like the electric screwdriver. I I, um, I fix this a lot of laptops, a lot of computers. So it's like a breeze to use the electric screwdriver. I don't have to keep turning using my manual hand uh, manually. So this is a good investment. And if you find, if you're gonna use this a lot then Maybe I recommend you to uh, get one of these for yourself. So the CD-ROM screw are actually a bit shorter. The rest of other screws are the same size. So the two screws on this and that is a lot shorter and make sure you uh, are aware of that. Alright, once you remove all the screws, the next step is to uh, flip it the other way around. And let's see if we can try to pry open the keyboard. I'll be using a metal prying tool and this is a plastic one. So I just want to get underneath the, uh, the computer, uh, get myself a little bit room. And once I have enough of room to get in between the keyboard, I'll use the plastic prying tool and run it over.
I actually need to remove the optical drive. All right, so once I remove the optical drive, you want to come back here and remove the screws. I totally forgot about that, so I apologize in advance. Uh, I do not want you to break any of the stuff. You really need to remove the optical drive first before you can remove the, uh, the back cover. All right, so once you remove the three screws, uh, there you go. And you can just pop open the entire back cover here. Okay, let me turn it around and I'll show it to you. And this is where the battery is. It looks like my battery is bad. Uh, you can see that the battery is really hard and it's kind of swollen, a lump on it. And I can see that the touchpad on the other side of it, the touchpad is not clickable. It's, it's kind of like pushing. The battery is pushing against the touchpad and I feel like the touchpad is not clickable. Uh, it's all because of the, the battery. Alright, so this is a good opportunity to check on your battery. And I was going to change my hard drive. Now I realize that the battery is bad and we'll be changing the battery as well. So let's go ahead and remove the hard drive. The first thing you need to do is to flip open this little clipper. This is the safety clipper. Flip it up and pull the flex cable down towards your body right so pull it down and there you have it let's go ahead and remove the three screws alright so once you have the three screws removed this is the connector that connects to the hard drive. Go ahead and remove that by simply just disconnect it. There's nothing that holds on to it. You just have to pull it carefully. Do not break the cable, do not break this connector. Just pull it slowly. So this is the hard drive and this is the new solid state drive. So in this new solid state drive, uh, Pretty much you want to remove the four screws, one, two, three, and four, and remove the spinning disc, and you can replace with this solid state drive and put the four screws back in. But I'm not gonna do it right now because I still need to clone the hard drive. I'll be cloning over this hard drive over to this solid state drive, and um, I won't be showing in this video, but I make a separate video on how to clone it. Check out in the uh, check out the link in the description below. All right, so this is the uh, the battery. Uh, the battery of this model is WDX0R. Okay, so um, if your battery is not holding the charge, and this is the time when you need to replace the battery. Now this one here is actually uh, your RAM slot. So you have additional RAM slot here for you to upgrade to a secondary RAM. Uh, this is the eight gigabytes. You can actually add another eight gigabytes. To make it at 16 gigs total okay and this runs on a ddr4 ram so this is your cpu fan and if your fan is really dusty it is time for you to uh, you know kind of a use the a can duster to dust it up uh, if you want to clean it you can actually remove the screw i believe It looks like there's only one screw, but you have to remove with the heat sink as well. So this is the heat sink pipe, and this is where the CPU is, right underneath. You need to remove the four screws. Remove one of this screw, the CPU fan, disconnect the cable, and you can uh, apply a new thermal paste on it. Okay? So if your CPU runs on a high speed all the time, if the computer is too hot all the time, then go ahead and try to apply a new thermal paste. Remove the dry thermal paste first and then apply the new thermal paste. Alright, uh, so this is pretty much it. Uh, my process is not done, but I won't be showing you in this video on how to clone it. Uh, it's just going to take too long for the process. So if you have any question, comment below. Um, if you feel like this is helpful, please give me a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel. I really appreciate you for for doing that 
And one last question for you is, uh, sorry, not question for you. One last thing for you to, uh, I get this comment a lot is people ask me where is the CMOS battery. The CMOS battery is this one here. All right, so this is your CMOS battery, kind of somewhat taped onto this place. And this is the connector. If you pull the connector down, and that would reset the uh, the BIOS, the motherboard. All right, so thank you, and until next time, take care now.